Make sure that you guys are subscribed and you have all notifications enabled for the channel if you do enjoy the content here. So thank you guys for the continued support. Let's get into the video. What is up? Welcome back to another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video. Today we are doing a couple different things. So we are using Monotech against the Janemba event. So this is basically going to be a little bit of gameplay of that. And secondly, if you're on the fence about it, if you're wondering whether or not you should farm LR Goku for the Legendary Campaign, TLDR is basically, yeah, you probably should if you can, because it's heavily incentivized. You get uh, 50 stones, you get 10 Elder Kai's, you get a lot of tech orbs. I'm assuming it's tech orbs. Um, in which at the end of this video, if you're wondering what I'm talking about, I will leave a video on the screen. It'll pop right up in the last like 20 seconds of this one. Go ahead and check that one out. But it's basically a showcase for LR Goku as well. So hope you guys enjoy it. Subscribe if you are new to the channel, of course. And um, a couple of team notes. I would traditionally run uh, TN, but I don't have the tech TN. Didn't bother to summon for him. I don't summon very often. Um, not anymore anyway. So I don't have tech TN. I would run him on the team instead of that SS2 Goku. But, um, wow. Okay. But uh, last little note is... And I would probably run instead of lr goku at this point i'd probably just run the super saiyan 3 adult go tanks but you know it is what it is so let's see if we can hit for one if we can hit him this is going to be 24 key we need this to go through um this is goku at his best so my goku is about 30 percent done about 1200 plus in the potential system as far as the attack stat goes Last but not least, he is SA20. Once again, if you're wondering how that works, I will leave stuff in the description for you to check out. Um, I, I have a feeling Janemba's going to dodge this. I really hope he doesn't, because I want to see the damage. Please don't. Yeah, he didn't. Let's see what he does. Can I get a crit? I don't know if he gave me crits. 1.2 million. This guy, and, and 980 damage back. Wow. It's going to go up, because he's gonna, I think his defense is getting lower there. Either way, 26k. So, there's a couple things you need to be aware of the special link for this is the super saiyan link so the damage is a little bit skewered but either way still a phenomenal unit his damage at least has aged very well you know if you put orbs into him make him 100 percent or whatever which once again you may be able to do that if you get him um during the legendary campaign i will leave that video be sure to check it out uh it's, and it also has some gameplay for the updated lr goku stage that should be coming to dokkan um, in that time period, so check that out. But I was saying, if you get him to like 100%, still gonna hit very hard, very hard hitting unit. Um, one thing about him though is that he's super outdated, like I was saying. And if you're a global player, you're wondering about this Bardock. This is the Bardock, the traditional tech Bardock. Uh, he does not Dokkan Awaken on global yet. He will when Mass Saiyan comes out. I don't know when Mass Saiyan is coming out. He comes out with SS3 Goku. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and actually take this turn. The intelligence one is probably gonna be the biggest issue because of type disadvantage for me. But LR Goku is super outdated, super old. Uh, I think he was the very first LR to drop, in fact. But what I mean by that is he doesn't have things like prepared for battle. Had he dropped today, and this is Power Creep 101, had he dropped today, he would have those things. He just simply doesn't have them, though. I feel like at the time he dropped, they felt like he'd be probably too good. So 400,000. With the buff from Vegito. And of course, if you didn't know, this Bardock is basically that guy's best friend. They share several links, and the Bardock generates a lot of green orbs for him. So that's why you want to keep the Bardock and the Goku on rotation. Even if in this scenario it means I have to keep a second one of these SS3 Gokus off of my main rotation. Um, speaking of which, I'm going to put the rotation like this. If you're, <laughs> if you're wondering why the Gokus are linking, is because attack links will activate across the board, and limit breaking form is active. So unfortunately, the Goku on the end does not actually get access to Super Saiyan or Fierce Battle. He's not going to have any of those links. He just has limit breaking form. I'm going to use this because I don't trust this guy. He hits incredibly hard. I think I have him sealed though, but still, he's still, 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 he hits really hard either way. Let's see if we can get him though. 11 key super from Gotenks. Crit would be nice. Got him. That's great. No crit. Okay, Goku, you're the crit factory. Do it. Oh, come on. I hate how he dodges, like, super early. He's like, not even any hope. Do it. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, I, like I said, I don't like saying 
things are easy or hard because it's specific to the player um, and what they have available in their box individually. But I will say that I don't think Janemba is particularly hard for me. Of course, my box is, is kind of stacked. Uh, that may be a bit of an understatement, but I digress. So my point is, um, what's really bad about Janemba is he's super annoying. He's That's the worst thing about Janemba's event is he's really freaking annoying. And he hits hard as a truck. But I sealed him here, so that's great. Sealed him back, and maybe LR Goku gets a hit in here. That SS2 Angel Goku that's free to play, because he's given out to everybody, uh, is pretty solid. Has a support option. Gives, I think, 20% attack to all allies and two key. 25 maybe. Something like that. Very, very uh, solid sleeper option for a support unit in that last slot. Alright, do I want to chance the 11 key? I will. I'm going to heal up first. We're going to chance the 11 key. Because that's Gotenks at his best. We're going to go for that rainbow orb there to give Goku 20% more. Uh, and we can do that. That's fine. He did Gotenks' attacks. That was super high. But of course, he dodges it. It's like 1.5 million. It's like higher than Goku's attack stat. But Goku is the crit machine that he is. <sighs> that Goku is so good, man. Um, I don't want to say he's underrated, but a lot of people don't really like him. And, and for, for good reason. I mean, he doesn't tank super well. He does variable things that aren't really necessary. Um, and he has a kind of a stupid mechanic, needing the rainbow orbs to really get a lot of damage output. So I understand that regard. Um, in this scenario, I'm kicking somebody off rotation. I'm going to put Bardock there for that fierce battle between he and uh, SS3. And all these orbs drop for me. I'm going to take this turn. I don't know what it is, but it seems like when you take the turn from Janemba, you're more likely to hit him. Which may or may not be me just being crazy. But you see, first thing we do is hit him. We're going to get some crits here? We may win in one turn if we get some crits. Oh, he's a crit factory. He is the crit machine. <laughs> Oh, he dodged that. Okay. Please don't dodge this. I really want to see LR Goku do it. Damn it. It's where, like, you know, you get orbs and you get, like, doubles. You know, double attacks. That'd be nice. Okay. Um, I'm going to use the Icarus here because, once again, I don't trust this guy. He hits really hard. He also lowers your defense, so he's pretty darn annoying. I actually don't want to... No, 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 I'm not getting Bardock next turn. No, I'm getting Bardock. I'm not getting Goku. So, Bardock changes red orbs to green. This is so great if I had LR Goku because he would just get a stream of green orbs. All these reds and these greens because I would just give him this right here, which I'm doing anyway. But, unfortunately, Bardock's going to change all those orbs and there won't be a Goku there because I expect the Goku to maybe, maybe, baby, uh, finish it. I should have put SS3 on the back end, but it looks like we're going to win here. Yeah, we win. Okay. So, no dodge from him. Can we get a crit to end it on a good note, though? do i told you he's a crit machine baby those str and those tech units being able to get level 20 is so good for them it, it is so good that's why i think that some units just flat out being intelligence is like kind of a shaft you know they're like super good either way like imagine if intelligence gogeta was like tech or str get the level 20 crit just ridiculous he doesn't particularly need it because he has a mechanic that's similar it's not the same but that's just one example anyways that is it, and like I said, on the screen in just a moment, you will see a video you can click on. If you want to know more about the Legendary Campaign, the Dragon Stones, all that stuff, it'll be right there for you guys. Let me know your thoughts on the Mono Tech team featuring LR Goku, and if you, you, yes you, you, listening, will be the one to uh, go ahead and farm up LR Goku. Once again, mine is at about 30%, and quick little note, I didn't mention this in the video, I am assuming that if you already have LR Goku, you may just automatically have those missions done, right? Because you're supposed to grind all our Goku, then unlock his dupe paths, and then uh, get him to SA20 to get all those things completed. I talk about it in that other video, but I'm assuming if you've done all those things already, you may just outright begin when the event period starts for the Legendary Campaign with all of those things already done in your mission. So that is pretty much it. That's a showcase on Monotech. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, subscribe if you are new. Have an awesome day. And as always, stay swaggy. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys. Cruelin' it. Hashtag cruelin' it. <laughs>